Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're back with a haul. I have literally just been shopping. I have definitely done some damage. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's start the haul with what I've bought today. Obviously, I've been to the works, I've been to Waterstones, so I also have another pile of books that I've bought at other times, but I have done an especially big haul today. So first off, I did go into the works. I always got the works first because if I have what I want in Waterstones, obviously cheaper, makes it easier. There's nothing worse than going into Waterstones and then going into the works and they have it's like a fiver or like three pounds. It's, there's nothing worse if you've bought something already and you could have got it cheaper. So I always got the works first. The last time I went in, they did not have the box sets of the Off Campus series. I have mine just here. I have yet to actually read and kind of see the Off Campus and Brian series, but the new covers are so much nicer and they're in the works. So um, Off Campus is £20 and Brian U is £15. But I haven't read them yet, so I had to I ring my mum and say, Mum, tell me not to buy these books. So I didn't, but I left the shop wanting to cry. Anyway, I had a few books in mind that I really wanted to get today. The first one being Funny Story by Emily Henry. Thankfully, I managed to get this in the works for £9.50 instead of £18.99. I am really looking forward to this. I did not want the sprayed edges because orange and blue is just not my favourite. It's different for Happy Place because the pink to blue and then with the purple in the middle. It's nice. I just, I, did, I hate spray edges of this version. So I got it a lot cheaper as well, thankfully. It the works. For a second, I didn't think they had it. I had to scour, but I found it. And so I'm so looking forward to reading this book. You have no idea. I bought First Down by Grace Riley in the works because they only had the first one. Today they had the other two and I could not remember if it was first down or breakaway that I bought because I couldn't remember which one was the first one. And I was like, both names are really, I don't know which one it is. So I, I had a feeling it was first down. So I bought breakaway in sitting home. I've just checked and it is first down that I have, thankfully. So I have bought the full three books. These were three pounds. Three pounds. And you're coming home with me, bitch. Um, yeah, so these are sports romances, I think. This one looks like it's baseball. This one's got an ice skate and a hockey stick. And I think first down is football, but like American football. So I think there must be all different sports romances, but I'm not sure. I haven't heard a whole lot, to be honest. I, want, I was going to read these on Kindle Limited, but when they're in the works for £3, and they have such nice covers. I think they're so cute. So, yeah, very excited for these. These were not on the list for today, but very happy nonetheless. What was on the list, however, was King of Sloth, six pounds. This was on the buy one get one half price table at Waterstones. So I'm happy to have got this, six pounds. I'll be reading this very soon. I do the series, and I've been really looking forward to Xavier and Sloane. Is it Sloane? Yeah, to Xavier and Sloane's book since the first one because it was kind of teased and you could kind of tell that it was going to be them too. Been looking forward to it since then because Xavier is brat and I can't wait to see how slow and brat tames him. However, I think it's going to be the other way around. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, and it is a nice surprise. They had one of the new Mariana's Potter like republished with the cute covers books. So I got all those lead here. I only have one other Mariana's Potter book and it's from Luke Off With Love, which I have yet to read, but I heard she's the queen of slow bin, and I've heard this one's a good one. This one, I think it's small town. I don't know. But it sounds good. It's a thick old boy, but it was only four pounds. So exciting. I also very randomly got a coloring book because it was two pounds down from 8 99 and it's just the crystal coloring book. And I thought it's, I looked inside, I'm like, for when I want a color, but not something that's too difficult, I, I, I literally just, well, it won't take too much time. I'm not really even into crystals, but I feel like I can make them like, with the color palettes that I like, which is literally the bisexual flag. With everything, I'm like pink, purple, blue. <laughs> I feel like crystals work for my color palette, so. 
Now for Waterstones, I did some damage in Waterstones. I bought, I think, seven books. I sound like I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five from the works and I think seven from Waterstones. I don't know what was going on with me today. I really don't know. But there was another book I wanted to get, which was Butter by Asako Yuzuki. Um, this is a full on, I haven't read like a, a full, full on Japanese fiction book, but I loved, um, I guess that well, they are novels, but they're on the shorter side. So I read um, Days at Murasaki Bookshop and What You're Looking For is in the Library, and they were both Japanese fiction and I really loved them. I just finished What You're Looking For is in the Library last night and it's a five stars, literally would not change a thing about it. So I want to read more Japanese fiction and I've seen a lot about this book. I think it's about a woman who is convicted of murder. But I don't think she was the murderer. It's a really, I did not realise how thick this book was going to be, but actually I think the writing is quite big. This book feels a lot more than 450 pages, I tell you that now, so I don't know what's, the, the, the paper must be really thick, but... Yeah, so it says, it's a vivid, unsettling exploration of misogyny, obsession, romance, and the transgressive pleasures of food in Japan. It just sounds really interesting, and I've heard a lot of good things about this online, so I got it. Okay, so the last book, because I, I had four books in mind today that I wanted to get, which was King of Sloth, Funny Story, Butter, and In the Weeds by B.K. Borison, because I read Love Like Farms at Christmas. And this has obviously had a buy one get one half price sticker on it at some point, and it's not been taken off very well. Anyway, um... This one is set in spring, so I wanted to read this one. But they also had Mixed Signals, which is the summer book. So with it, we're coming into summer like practically any day now. So I got them both. I'm going to read them in their respective seasons. And then all I need is Sunny Feeling something. I can't remember what it's called, but the autumn one. One thing is these were the only copies and they are slightly damaged. But I'm just going to pretend that that's not the case. So yeah, I'll be reading this. I'm probably going to read this next, to be honest, while we're still technically in spring. And then this I'll be reading in summer. Okay, and next I got this on a whim because I've only ever seen the first book in store. I saw the second and third um, last time I was in and they had Haunting Adeline in today. And I was like, do I? And I was like, no, it's on It's on Kindle Limited. I really don't know if it's going to be for me. I'll read it on Kindle and if I like it, then I will buy Haunting and Hunting in real life. But anyway... I read book one in my 24 hour reading challenge and that book is That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon. So I bought That Time I Got Drunk and Yeeted a Love Potion at a werewolf. And That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Human. You might have seen this title in my last bookshop blog um, because I found it hilarious. And that was the only other time I've seen these and they were still in so I thought, you know what? I'm going to get them because the first one was so fun just because it was like the most out of pocket unhinged fantasy I think that you'll ever read and it was really short it was less than 300 pages I mean this one's even shorter it's like not even 250 I think it's 244 this one's a little bit longer it's actually over 300 pages wow and um, but they're really good short reads for like a palate cleanser in between like heavier things or if you just want something completely like unserious and fun so I thought I would get these oh yeah the second one if I didn't say, is that time I got drunk and saved a human? I probably did say, but yeah, I got these two. This is the Meads and Mishaps series by Kimberly Lemming. And then the only books that were on the buy one get on half price table was um, a, a happy surprise because I'd seen it had been put into Waterstones, but I hadn't seen it personally. And I was hoping it would possibly be on the buy one, get, uh, buy one get one half price table if it was. That is Minx by Miss Sophie Love very excited to read this um because obviously it's, i think it's just recently been traditionally published and then a book that i didn't even know had been published yet but everyone had been raving about it who got the arc and i was like oh it must be on ku not realizing they'd got the arc and looked for it and it wasn't out yet and that is collide by bal Kabar cabra bal cabra i think this i've heard so much good things about look at that cover it is the cutest thing i've ever seen in my entire life I was very pleasantly surprised. So yeah, I once again saw Butcher and Blackbird on the Bow and Get One Half Press table and didn't buy it. Even though I have now listened to the audiobook and loved it, if it's on there again next time I go, I'm just going to get it. And I also saw Pucking Around by Emily Rath and I nearly, nearly 
If I bought Witcher Blackbeard, I would have had to get poking around, but I just don't know if I can buy that physically in person. But I'm, I do want to read it, so... Okay, that was the 12 books that I bought today. I still have all the books here that I have bought at other times since my last haul. I really have a problem. I was meant to not buy more books than the, um, than the number I read the previous month. That's not happening. Anyway, so... Starting off strong, I bought Wild Love. This was on the Baron Gettenhoff price table also, hence why I bought it. I could not get it in the works. She completely sold out. What the hell? I've already read this. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. With that offer, I got Hate Mail by Donna Marchetti. I've heard good things about this one. I think it's like pen pals who then kind of go out of contact. And then I think it's a bit of a hate to love relationship possibly. I'm not entirely sure, but it's pink. It's floppy. And it was on Baron Gettenhoff price. I know it starts as them sending hate-filled letters, but then becomes a friendship, and then it stops. Interesting. Also, yeah, I use this for a photo, so I, I just put that back on a bit messily, but I'll be taking the stickers off all of these, and then putting them on my shelf, very excitingly. My favourite thing to do, honestly, is put books on my shelf. <sighs> this next two I got before I found out that there are now going to be new covers for the whole series, so I'm not going to buy the rest of the series and these covers. Probably. And I'm going to wait for the rest of the, like, the nice covers to come out. And I'm probably going to rebuy these. I'm awful. I'm absolutely awful. But anyway, it's um, Off to the Races and A Photo Finish by Elsie Silver. Also, because these are independently published, they are unnaturally heavy. So they're not, like, very fun to read. I don't know why. It's the same with the... Um, you can't see because they're slightly out of shot. But, yeah. The JDS series by Lauren Asher. I don't know what it is, but they're really heavy, even though they're quite small books. Um, yeah, I'm dying to read. I said the Gold Rush Ranch series, I think it's called. I'm dying to read this series. I love Elsie Silver. I loved Wild Love. The Chestnut Spring series is every book, I think, of five stars. I can't wait to read this series because this one came first. But yeah, now they're getting traditionally published and the covers are really nice. So, anyway. Okay, and then I bought Magnolia Parks Into the Dark. This is a thick old boy. And of course I had to buy it while I still could get this cover because I have, as you can see, the original covers because they're so much nicer than the traditional published ones. Um, yeah, I still need to read the second Magnolia Parks and the second Dizzy Hates, but I do like the series, so I was like, I'm gonna continue at some point. But this book, I mean, is it the serious Magnolia, really? Wow. Okay, and then I got the second book in the Good Girls Guide to Murder series, yep called Good Girl Bad Blood but I got these special edition hardback it's so nice um so yeah I'm gonna get around to reading this at some point and I will also get the third book and then eventually I will get the special edition of the first book but I'm in not really much hurry at the minute although I really hope I don't end up missing out on them so maybe let's not think about that right now yeah I'm looking forward to reading this book I really enjoyed the first one for being a YA I just thought it was really good because I don't I'm not a YA anymore I'm a, I'm a mid-20s now I'm 27 in a few months. But it was good. Anyway. Okay, and then I got the Night Circus. These are all ones from Waterstones. By the way, we're going to be going on to the works in a minute. Well, after the races and photo finish, they were from Amazon. But yeah, I got the Night Circus. I've heard a lot about this book and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it at some point. It's a standalone fantasy. And obviously it's about a circus that kind of goes around. And I think there's some dodgy things happening. And I think there's a romance plot in there as well it just sounds good it sounds good and I love that cover it's got a lot lovely like soft matte finish as well Ooh, beautiful I've got one more from Waterstones and that is a Tempest of Tea by I'm not gonna lie I can't pronounce that name Hafsa Faisal I don't know but it's got this tea room that turns into like a blood room for vampires at night and it's I don't it just sounds I've heard a lot of good things about this book and the cover is beautiful and it's about vampires. What more could you want? And it was £3 off. Okay, well, onto the last two books. These are from the works. There are people down below. I really hope they can't see me just talking to a camera right now, but I also don't really care. Anyway, um, yeah, so I got Face Down by Grace Riley. Yeah, for £3, as I mentioned before. And I also got Tempting Little Thief by Megan Brandy. I only have one Megan Brandy book 
and that's Save Sweat. I've still yet to read it yet. But this sounded quite good. I don't know if it's a series. So I think this one's about a girl who's in an undercover, like, or underworld, like, crime syndicate type thing. And he probably isn't a great dude either. <laughs> but yeah, it's a romance. And I think it's on the darker side, possibly. Or like the, or Girls of Grace. And I think the series might be called because it says just like there. I don't know, it sounded interesting and it was £4, so I bought it. Okay, so that is all the books I bought recently. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Fingers crossed I don't buy too many books before then. Okay, I'm coming to you a month later if my roots didn't clue you in on that. Um, I filmed my last, like, the haul that you've just seen, like, a month ago. And I just have been a bit lazy and haven't gotten around to editing it yet. But I went book shopping with my friend the other day. And I bought 13 books. Uh, and I bought two, like, a couple of weeks before that. So I thought... Now I have kind of put myself on another book buying ban. I will do a haul, which you can only see a couple of them so far. I will do a haul of what I got and then we're at a clean slate for my book buying ban. So my rules for my book buying ban, I'm allowed if I finish, because I have quite a few books where I've got like the first one in the series, not the rest. So if I start a book in the series, because I like to generally, I try to read the full series in one go. If I start a series and I want to continue it, I'm allowed to buy the rest of the series because I'll be reading it straight away. I'm also allowed to buy new releases of series I've already started because, again, I'll be reading it straight away. So, like, um, Daydream's coming out, um, Fall with me, Fall to me, something like that, I can't remember. But the next Playing for Keeps, that series, um, that one, and, like, Love Unwritten and Wild Eyes, I'm allowed to buy them. I don't know how long the book buying ban's going to go on for. I think I'm going to try two months and see how we go from there. Anyway, let's just get into the second part of the haul, shall we? From TK Maxx, I got two classics that are rather beautiful. I am very warm right now, Jesus Christ. I got this beautiful edition of Pride and Prejudice. It's like, I don't know if you can see... It's just beautiful. So it's the Paper Mill Press edition. I have the version of, I wanted to say Lady Chatterley's Lover. That's not what it is. Anna Karenina, I have that version of this. So they're like a, a hardback that's soft. But I just thought it was beautiful. And this was only $6.99. And then I got this version um, of Sense and Sensibility. This, it just says Signature Classics, but it's got like lavender on the front. And I love lavender, if you couldn't tell by the fact the whole room is painted lavender. But it was two fifty. I think it was four pound before that, and I don't know how much it was before that. There's quite a few stickers on the back, and I was like, "Is it damaged?" But as far as I can see, it is not. It just says Union Square and Company. But I love lavender, and it's gorgeous. And I don't have Sense and Sensibility. I may have the Penguin Classics of Pride and Prejudice. I won't lie. I can't remember though. Um, I definitely don't have Sense and Sensibility. So. Yeah, I do want to read some classics eventually at some point, and I will try. But you, if you give me a beautiful classic, I'm probably going to buy it. I then bought seven from Waterstones. I realise now this lighting is terrible, and no, I'm not wearing makeup, but you know what? I just wanted to get this haul done so I can put them on my bookshelf, to be honest. Anyway, I bought seven books. Only one of them was full price. The rest were on the buy one, get one half price table, because normally that's where I shop. I, I, I prioritise there, because there's a book I want, and it's on there. It saves money than buying at full price. Last time, in the in the last haul, I bought quite a few full price. That rarely happens. I must have just been feeling frivolous. Anyway, first one I got is More Days at the Morisaki Bookshop. This one is also signed by the author. This one, I read the first book of this... Was it just last month? Or the month before? I read it quite recently. Time is going with me, I have no idea how we're halfway it's over halfway through june anyway read the first one loved it felt very heartwarming so i thought i would get the second one as well okay and then i got leather and lark and butcher and blackbird i read this on kindle 
it's beyond the buy one get one half price table the last good few times i've been there and i thought next time it's there i will buy it and i was going in specifically for leather and lark because i really want to read the book quite soon actually since i read the first one recently so it's probably going to be on the tbr for next month to be honest because this month i still have like four well technically three i have dnf'd missed the wrong number that is for another day um but i still have three left on my tbr for this month so hopefully next month i'll get around to reading that but i'm very intrigued by this content warnings list i will not lie like teeth and tooth buy products what does that mean apparently it's going to ruin pizza and beer but pizza i don't like beer anyway so that's fine auto cannibalism don't know how they're gonna work that in um you might have new thoughts about crafting with epoxy resin snow globes apparently are gonna be ruined as well so god knows what is gonna go on but it sounds like it's gonna be a blast because butcher and blackbird was so and uh, the book i bought full price was the book of Aswell. what's annoying is i have seen this in the buy one get one half price table every single other time i've been in the one time I go in specifically to get it and I have to buy it full price. It's a really thick boy. Oh, I also were given a Serpent in the Wings of Night um, bookmark because he asked if I had it and I said I have the hardback. I hate the paperback cover, so I'm very glad I have the hardback. But because it was on like the front where they put like the books of the week or whatever it is where you can get like a free little token for like a free drink. Um... They gave me the bookmark still, which I thought was quite nice. So yeah, um, I'm I'm not really a hundred percent sure what this is about. I saw something about this on someone's YouTube channel, I think, and so I, then I had to buy it. And I can't remember what I saw. I just know it sounds like it's something I'm gonna enjoy. It was a bit of a well. I say I was about to say it was a bit of an impulse. It wasn't. It was on my list of books to buy. Then I got Cross the Line by Simone Soltani. As far as I'm aware, this is a debut novel. Yeah. Um, I tried to get this in the works. My works didn't have it in, which is a shame. So, But at least it's on the bottom. I get one half price table. It's Formula One. I read the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. Loved that. I grew up with Formula One, to be honest. My dad was never a sports fan. He was always a Formula One fan. So I do. And I wouldn't say I enjoy it, I tolerate it. Um, but at least I have more knowledge in it than like hockey or American football. So yeah, also my colleague said it was really good. She also told me it was in our local works. She lied, clearly. But she said it was good. So that's purely the reason I bought it. Okay, then I got The Brothers Hawthorne. I did not know this was out in paperback. The only reason I didn't buy it when it first came out as a hardback is because I have the Inheritance Games series in paperback. So I wanted it to match. Although the thing is, right, I have the UK covers. We can now get the American covers in the UK. The American covers fit this. The UK do not. And I hate the UK covers, to be honest with you. But at least, like you can see on the back, they all go so nice together. So maybe in the future, I'll get the American covers and put my versions in the charity shop. But anyway, I was very much looking forward to this when it came out and I was waiting for the paperback. Did not know it was out. It was a very happy surprise that I saw it. And then finally I got Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. This was on the buy one get one half price table. It just, they didn't have a sticker on it, but I'm not gonna complain about that. That's one less sticker for me to have to peel off later. I am very much looking forward to this book. I, lo loads of people do not like the accidental pregnancy trope, okay? I am one of the people who for some reason really quite enjoys it if it's done well. And I've heard it's done very well in this book. Yeah, I love the independently published cover though. This one is still very cute and now everything's being independent, um, traditionally published. Like they, they look nice together, don't get me wrong. However, the names are different, but it, it's fine. Um, the artwork's all like similar though. So it, they do look nice together now. But I did think the original artwork was very nice on the independently published book. And I was gonna order it like a couple months ago and I was like, why is it no longer available? It's because this was coming out. So I will not, I will not complain because I definitely got this a lot cheaper than I would have if I bought it on Amazon. and it will I, I imagine that amazon would have been slightly taller and not fit in line with my bookshelves so. okay from the works i went in specifically for powerful because i wanted this edition i originally was going to read powerless first see if i liked it and then buy this that was the plan however a week before i started no so i was going to start reading powerless before i went out with the view of getting it anyway 
um, if I liked it. But a week before we were due to go out, I saw a TikTok about there being a tandem read of Powerless and Powerful, because I know this takes place during the Powerless story. So if anyone has done a tandem read, let me know if it's good and if that's the best way to do it. I have it now regardless. And I did love the spread edges. So yeah, let me know. At least I'll have Powerless and Powerful ahead of Reckless being uh, released, I think is it in a couple months time. It's this year, it's fairly soon. I've got it for when it's ready. And then in the three for six pound deal, I don't know what this series is called, but it's the summer you found me, the summer I saved you and the summer we fell. I don't know which way around the books go. I think I have them in this order. What is heartbreaking is I did not realize the front few pages of the summer you found me is like all bent and horrible, but it's fine. Um, Yeah, six pound for three books. I've seen a lot about these. They, I like the covers, like look, the pink one is very pretty blue and then well, like a dark bluey purple in like a turquoise colour. Like they're just gorgeous. And six pounds for three books. And they're just gonna be I think like light summary reads that are like just over 300 pages each. Like ideal for like a little palette cleanser. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I've just read Haunting Adeline and I have tried, I'm currently reading Astro Parker Doesn't Fail and I'm really enjoying it. However, I really feel a bit dodgy in like headspace wise after reading Satan's Affair, Haunting Adeline and Hunting Adeline all off the bat. So I, mentally, I don't know where I'm at with my reads. Hopefully this kind of thing will help me out of that if I get back into one of these feelings. Okay, the last two books I got it as the, I just went with my mom to get some photos printed, but she decided to have a little look around while we were there. I saw the book section and I was like, hello. So it was like two for nine pounds, I think. So I got Off Track by es Esha Patel. This one is also Formula One. It looks like she is a Formula One racer as well as him, which I'm all for. And I think they're on the same team, but they're kind of like rivals. Like, yeah. I saw it, it looked cute. I picked it up. It's one of the rare times where like, I think these and the Elizabeth O'Rourke series, I haven't really heard anything about. I think the only thing was I've heard that they're maybe spicy. Uh, about that series but that's literally all I've seen um not like mega spicy I think they're like medium to lower level spice but they have spice um this one I've not heard a thing about at all and it's rare for me to pick up a book if I don't if I haven't heard about anything about it I also bought the paperback of yellow face um I was umming and ahhing about buying it for a while but I thought when it was on a deal for two books for nine pounds I thought why not get it I have yet to read Babel Babel whatever you want to call it I do want to. I just know it's going to be probably a lot. So I might read this one first. But I've heard it's quite a funny commentary on the literary world while also talking about some very real topics, like some problems in the literary world and things like that. So I've heard it's going to be very good. I've heard nothing but praise for this book actually and I love the cover. I'm not usually one for yellow but this is actually a very palatable yellow for me and I just yeah I think it's so simple but it says a lot. The haul is actually now finished <laughs> so yeah anyway I like I say I'm gonna be on a bit of a book bang ban for the next couple of months we'll see if it actually no I'm gonna I'm gonna make it work like I really need to get through all of these. Um, A lot of the books I have read so far I, ha I have read quite a few of them. I wouldn't say I've read a lot. I've read quite a few of them. Um, but I want to get through this TBR. So like I say, only new releases that I'm going to read straight away or only like continuing on the series. I, if I order book one and I want to continue the rest of the series, I'm not by then. Uh, I'm going to aim for the next two months. I might do it longer if I'm doing well. Because it still means I am allowed to buy new books. It's just... I'm not like about by willy nilly like I have been. So yes. With that being said, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down below if you have if you would advise reading Powerless and Powerful as a tandem read. If you've done that, if you think it would be a good idea, let me know. Or if I should read them separately. Because I really haven't a clue. And with that, I will see you next time. Bye.